I'm gonna title this video, The Truth. Truth versus lies here. Um, I started making videos in um, early, early June. <coughs> no, I don't have the Rona. Um, and um, I, I pray. I, I pray daily. And one of the things I pray is that the truth come out. Like whatever is going behind, going on behind something that's going on in this country, in the world, that the truth be revealed, the lie be exposed, and the truth come out. The truth will prevail. Okay? And I'm going to cite some examples here of things that I prayed and how the truth is starting to be revealed. I'll start with coronavirus and the increase of, of, of cases over the past um, two, three weeks. And hearing experts and politicians and what they're attributing it to, um, it seems to be everything, everything. It, it, it's this, it's that, it's thus. Um, at first it was Memorial Day. Well, by the time I made the video, Memorial Day was happened almost a month earlier. Um, then it was, um, I know here in Florida, one of the things he, um, the governor said was part of the uptake was the um, migrant workers. They were, they were getting, they were starting to get, um, get the virus. And so it was migrant workers and them having to work in, they're out in the open, they're spread out and, don't get me started on that one. Um, then it was the the bars and uh, people weren't social distancing at the bars, so he came in within the order to shut down the bars. Um, and everything's being blamed or brought as part of the blame, except the protests. Past few days, guess what's been happening oh part of the uptake is because of the protests you think now i'm not a medical expert i'm, I'm a music teacher now if i had figured that out three weeks ago why did it take you this long to finally fess up all right black lives matter I've been saying it for several weeks now and why I will not support Black Lives Matter because they don't support all black lives because to them all black lives do not matter um so now with the there's been an uptick in violence when they started pushing for defunding the police Another video I made was um, about law enforcement being hamstrung. And, well, New York dismantled its um, crime prevention unit. 600 people under um, planes closed cops taken off the streets. Over, what, a 200% increase in gun violence in New York City? Over 200%? And it's not just New York City. It's happening all over the nation with the push toward defunding police. And I was like, oh, people are starting to pull back from that. I mean, and, and they were screaming, oh, oh, the, oh, the other side, they're, they're promoting fear. No, it's common sense. It's just common sense that if you do this, this is where this is going to go. And look at what's happening. This is where it's going. And people are starting to rethink the defunding the police thing. All right? Um, Black Lives Matter is not about Black Lives Matter. And it's, as they see with the, and, and talked about the, um, the killings, because now people are starting to see that Black Lives Matter doesn't mean all Black Lives Matter. 
because they're not out they're not out there protesting these little babies who got killed who just barely started in their lives and they're shot down I'm, I don't call them babies because they've been there's two and three year old killed the poor father the parents in Atlanta their their daughter killed their, their, their eight year old daughter killed Um, and there's no outrage because it, it's not part of the narrative. It's, it's not part of the agenda. So what I, God hears your prayers, people. God hears your prayers. And pray that the truth prevail and the lies fail. The truth prevail, the lies fail.